Yo, what's up everybody? It's KB here and uh, yeah, I installed a Google Assistant on my Windows PC. So first of all, obviously I'm going to show you how it works and how it looks and then don't worry, I will also tell you how you can get it. So let's do the test before I show you how to get it, okay? So I'm going to launch the Google Assistant just like that. And obviously I'm going to ask some questions. So this is how it looks. It looks similar to uh, when you use it on phone. So very good. <laughs> so I'm going to ask some questions and uh, you will know how it works. Okay. So I'm going to. What is my name? Your name is KB. Yeah, she knows. <laughs> and uh, one more question. Who's the president of USA? The president of the United States of America is Joe Biden. Nice. So I can ask further more questions. So now you got the idea that this is a real Google Assistant. Okay. And it looks cool and everything. We will talk more about this Google Assistant, what you can do and what you cannot do with this specific Google Assistant because this is a desktop version of Google Assistant. And as I said, I'm going to talk more about this once I tell you guys how to get it. So uh, let's get into the tutorial how to get it. So first of all, you'll have to visit this site. I will put link in the description. Don't worry. So this is a GitHub page where uh, there is a project called Google Assistant, an official desktop client. So you can get this from here. So you have to get this client. Just scroll down and if you want to learn more about this, you can learn. But the good thing about this is that this is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. So whichever operating system you're using, you can just get it. So to download this, click on downloads or just scroll down and you can see downloads click here and it will take you to the latest released download page okay and here under the assets you can see we have a dmg for mac and we have a snap for uh, uh, what do you call it linux okay and we have the google assistant setup.exe which is for the windows and i have windows just click on it and it will get downloaded and install it the installation process is same as other programs once you install this it won't work right away okay it won't you have to do some settings here first of all you have to get a key uh, file path which is a some kind of authentication file then you will be able to uh, use this google assistant for the first time when you use this it will actually give you the instructions where to go to download the key file path and all that. So uh, just to make you guys much simpler, um, this is actually the tutorial. I will put link in the description for this site too. You can go there and visit here. And here you will learn how to set up a Google Assistant on desktop, okay? So first of all, you'll have to go to the console you can see the head onto the actions console, which will take you to the Google's action consoles. And here you will have to sign in with your Google account and you have to make a project as they instruct here. Okay. Just follow these steps. So you can see I have the project already made uh, for the Google Assistant PC. You can name it whatever you want. You just have to click on new project and then go back here and uh, follow the instruction just like that. You know, just follow the instruction. If I do this one more time, it will take some time, but uh, just name it like KB or um, PR. Okay, that's the KB project create. And after that, uh, you know, go back and follow the instruction what you need to do here. So once you have followed everything and uh, you will get a, you can see here, now let me show you here if I can zoom in. Yeah. Once you create a project in uh, actions console, 
of Google, then you will be able to download the uh, file which is needed to activate the Google Assist Assistant on PC. So you just click on it and you will have the file to activate the Google Assistant on your PC. So that's the first step, okay? Just follow these instructions. And then you will have to go to the Cloud Console and do the same thing, follow the instructions of this page. So once you follow all of these instructions, head over to the Google Assistant desktop and go to settings and here browse and here you have to um, you know select the file that you got from uh, actions console okay which is this one for me and I have already set it up so you know just follow this it will be really easy that is why this guide is here because they want to help us to set up the google assistant on pc so once you have done that save and then the google assistant will work it's that easy okay so doing a setup takes some time you know i know you have to do some work here and there it won't work right away but once you get it uh, i think it's very cool <laughs> okay very cool to have a google assistant on your pc or mac or linux so it's a good thing so you can ask for weather for example just in barendranagar today it'll be sunny with a forecast high of 76 and a low of 54. yeah just like it's that. currently 68 degrees and okay sunny. okay stop talking okay so um now let's talk about what you can or what you cannot do with this so actually as you know this is not a official uh, google assistant client for the pc there is no official google assistant client but the google assistant itself is official obviously you can tell by the interface and all that so this is kind of like limited version of google assistant that you use on your phone so what i mean by limited is that it cannot do tasks such as it cannot set up the alarm it cannot set up uh, uh, the anything any task you do on your phone like in our phone we can use google assistant to do many tasks such as setting um, setting up alarm uh, setting up reminder setting up calendar meeting you know we can do lots of tasks so this google assistant cannot do tasks but it can answer all the questions that you ask normally so for example uh, let's say i want to set up the alarm here set up alarm sure what time's the alarm 12. okay noon setting your alarm yeah it will stuck here i mean you can go further by pressing the uh, mic icon but uh, it is stuck here because we are not using a phone and this is an unofficial uh, client and uh, it does not have access to our uh, windows pcs um, apps and all that so it, it can't touch our apps on windows pc or mac or linux so task it can't do but if you ask something it can answer all the questions because it's basically a official a google assistant but in a unofficial google assistant client so that's that okay and uh, now you can ask whatever you want um hey change my name got it what should i call you kb karki no it's not a good <laughs> it, 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 okay whatever you know you can do fun stuff like uh, let me you know you got the idea i'm getting confused here but i'm sure that you are not getting confused you are very intelligent and you know what i'm trying to say here okay so um i'm gonna toss a coin for example uh, like to toss a coin is that right yes sorry i didn't catch that 
Your name is Toss a Coin, right? <laughs> All right, I'll、okay. call you Toss a Coin from now on. Okay, okay, my name is Toss a Coin now. Okay. You'd like me to call you by the name Toss a Coin, okay? Is that right? <laughs> no. Cancel. Got it. What should I call you? Cancel. Cancel. All right. Okay, it understood. Oof, it was about to change my name into Toss a Coin. <laughs> Toss a coin.、Uh, it's heads. It's heads. I lost. I didn't lose. I I didn't choose anything.、Um, sing a song. Oh um okay. Here goes. <clears throat> I'm singing. I'm singing a song. I'm your assistant, and I'm singing la 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 la. <laughs> okay, so I've been know, practicing、uh, for this moment. No,、oh, this is fun, actually. So you got the idea. You cannot do tasks, but you can do. Beside tasks, you can do everything you do with the Google Assistant. That's it. Now I'm just having a fun. If you want to watch me having a fun, then stay, stick with me. I will, I will put link in the description for this. You can go there, download, and have fun. So I'm just gonna click on. If you're on... going out like that, I'm happy to check the weather for you.、Mm. Okay, I, I need more suggestions. The jitterbug seems fun. <laughs> I'm a sucker for cheesy jokes. What happens when a frog's car breaks? It gets towed. I did not understand the joke. Okay, because I'm not English man. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so,、uh, tell me a joke. What do you get when you put a vest on an alligator? An investigator. <laughs> I got this now. I got this, but I didn't laugh too much. But、uh, whatever. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I don't play with the Google Assistant that much, but、uh, you know, having a Google Assistant on your PC is fun. Maybe I don't know. Maybe you want to ask some weird questions or anything like that. Now is a chance. Not only in your phone, even in your PC is possible now. Very good. So I will put link in the description. You can go there, download this, and follow the instructions to properly、uh, activate the Google Assistant. So, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, you can leave your questions in the comments, and、uh, I'll try my best to help you out. So that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye bye.